just a quick heads up for you guys. If you have not seen US Aviators Danganronpa Hunger Games series, then click off this video right now and go watch that guy's series because it's really amazing. But also, I'm going to be spoiling for that series. So click off the video and then once you're done watching the series, just go ahead and come back. Welp, it's official. The episode right before next week's finale is already out. And congratulations to Himiko Yameno on her second victory and giving us a fan vote for the winner's bracket because she's already in the winner's bracket. And yeah, you, you get the idea. And what am I doing with my life? Anyways, since the categories are already posted, Ed, and you can vote for which categories you want, I figured that since it's gonna be next Friday that we're gonna begin in the finale I figured I might as well just share my top five eight characters that I want uh, to see get voted in for uh, uh, the finale with number five being the character that I want to get voted in but it's probably never gonna happen or has literally zero to little chance of getting in for one reason or another and number one being the character that I absolutely hope up, uh, we'll get in, and I encourage you to vote for them because they had it rough. You follow me so far? Yeah, uh, I don't know. I'm doing this unscripted, Ed, because it's like a last minute thing. Just please bear with me, people. Number five, AI Gonta. Okay, I know what you're thinking, and why the heck am I putting a character that technically is just the same person in the canon game um, on this list? Well, see. I just really feel bad for this as cutesy little character of possibly my favorite Dongle Ropa character ever. And he's actually he been in the Hunger Games a couple times before. And he's just so adorable. He gets so close to winning. Or he doesn't get anywhere near, near uh, being in the safe zone or where he gets a chance. Like he gets it's eliminated way too early. E or he's so close to making it to a top 10 or top 5 or getting close to victory and then he gets offed. Yeah. The only reason why I'm putting the AI Gonta at number 5 is because as much as I love for this to happen, I highly doubt uh, that it will considering that I don't know which of the categories he's, he's in and I'm not even in, in sure if he's, he's even in any category uh, to begin with. So like, I'm just putting him in there for my own safety. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, let's be fair. Uh, I love Gonta the bits. Uh, it's, and AI Gonta is just basically a chibi Gonta. Like, you can make a little doll out of, out of the AI Gonta in real life. Please don't actually hurt people to do that. But, like, uh, regardless, even though uh, he has possibly the lowest chance of making it back into... The Hunger Games for the finale. I encourage you to vote for him if he does appear in any of the categories because, like, he really deserves it. Like, he's been trying his best. Number four, Sumugi Shirogane. This is a bit odd, odd of me to put her on this list for fan votes because while I don't think she might have a good chance of getting and voted in anyway, I still like her and I would love it if someone were to, uh, uh, cast her vote in to support her so that way she could be in the finale and fun fact act about myself despite me not liking it when a friend just goes and backstabs me Simugi Shirogane is one of my favorite characters because of something similar uh, to uh, that happening and how she's evolved I'm not going to spoil what happens in the ending but if you could piece together what happened and in the ending of Dongaroba V3 then you already figured out what that and I imply by that, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, well, uh, with Sabugi, she hasn't really appeared a lot in the Dongaropa Hunger Games series. But uh, I would love to see her actually be in the finale to see if... Yeah, well, let's just say that I really want her to be in the finale because she's actually a really good power player. And she knows how to uh, get the kills and points and support her team. And... And... Yeah, you get my point. I'm one of those people who actually likes Samugi a lot. And yeah, that's all I have for her. Please don't judge me, but please support her as well. And if you don't like her, you don't have to support her. Uh, just please don't uh, tell me to go die in a hole for liking Samugi. I really don't like those kind of comments. Okay, next person. Number three, Kibo. 
Okay, so Kibo and along with my second place person are going to be the only two people on my list that have actually won the season but did not clutch up a win to make it to the finals. So Kibo's a special case because, well, he's tried so hard. He doesn't and get it to the uh, games that often, or, or at least I don't remember him getting to the games that often. But he's done pretty well uh, in the series, or at least this season. And and he really deserved that win. But unfortunately, so, um, some fate they decided that RNG decided to kill him off pretty early in the winner's bracket on, on Thursday. And, and so he didn't really make it that far. All right. Kibo's also just, like, really adorable. Like, just look at Kibo. He's a cute little adorable robot. Like, he has a cute little squishy face. Look at the Kibi. Oh, cute little robot. It's so cute. Okay, I'll just stop myself. Yeah. Uh, like, yeah. Just, yeah. I have nothing else to put here for Kibo. Uh, and with that, we go into our second place person, on my top five list. Number two, Gundam Tanaka. Okay, so this is more of me wanting to get this character in because it would actually make US Aviator happy because along with Kibo, Gundam Tanaka has actually won this season and as well, but in the winner's bracket at team qualifications episode, he was the second person to die. Either the second or the third person to die. But, like, he did get very far. And, sadly, the cause of death was him falling to a frozen lake. Like, come on, you could do better than that at Gundam. Like, like please, do better. Or, or, A.V. really wants to see you in the finale. Well, anyways, is if you can vote Gundam um, Tanaka uh, into the fi- finale, then... And it will really make U.S. Aviator really happy as Gundam is one of his very favorite characters. And I think it's his absolute favorite character from um, Goodbye Despair. Er, um, yeah, Gundam may not be one of my favorite characters personally, but like he's up there on my like list too for favorite Dongaropa characters. So like, please vote Gundam in so that way we can make a U.S. Aviator happy. And by the way, please don't vote for Sayaka because he does not like Sayaka. He does not want her in. And uh, yeah, uh, just watch his videos and afterwards you'll, you'll get an explanation of why he doesn't like Sayaka. And with that, we get into our number one on, on person who I really want to see in the finale if he ever gets the chance to get voted in. Number one, going to Kokuhara. Okay, I hinted at this earlier when I talked about the AI Gonta, but Gonta Kokohara has had a rough this entire second season as he has died way more times and is nowhere near getting first place or something like that, or he gets second place and then he dies, is or RNG just kills him off. And I know that RNG has killed him off way more times than actual people have killed him throughout the second season. And it saddens me because this is the only character that has actually won in season one that has not gotten a win in season two. And yeah, Gota's like a precious little boy that really has tried his best. But for some reason, RNG decides AIDS to bully him. Like, Gota Gokohara has unfortunately become um, the punchy bag of RNG throughout season two. For some reason, I don't know why, but like, I'm gonna um I say this right now. Uh, stop bull, stop bullying, and going to uh Gokuhara. Like this is a pure baby. Like this is my pure baby. He's my favorite uh, Dongaropa character ever, and to see him get a uh, bully like this is like that hurts me. And I really want to see him get into the bracket again, and like I want him to get in into one of the teams. Because, like, please, 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 please. I really, really want to see my baby win again. He's tried so hard. He's act- actually really good in the series. He's he's tried his best. He really wants to win and again. And because he he really wants to try again. Like, I really want to see my pure baby e win again. And, and I know it's kind of selfish saying this, but, like, he's my absolute favorite character. Like, this pure boy has captured my heart. 
and my heart breaks every time he gets Ed's hurt or Ed, and it just gets absolutely destroyed when and for no reason at all people start hurting Gonta because they feel like it's a good uh, thing and that it's an option for fun like stop hurting Gonta uh, like please go easy on Gonta like he's trying his best people and this is more of a personal reason I really want uh, to see go to get into the uh, bracket, I don't care which team, aim I'm aim he's in. Like as long as go to gets in and to compete, then at least I'll be happy. Like it would absolutely make my day if Gonta gets voted in and to uh, the four or fan voted slots. Like please, I that's the reason why he's number one. I really love this character, guys. Those are my top five characters I would like to see get voted in for the season two finale of the Dog Europa Hunger Games series. If you like this video, make sure to leave, leave a like. And if you want to see more content from me, make sure to click that subscribe button and click that notification bell so you'll be notified when my next video will be uploaded, which hopefully won't take an eternity and a half next time. Anyways, that's it for me. And until then, this is Xiaomu Smash 14, your Pantheon Queen, signing out for now. See ya, guys.